travel around Taiwan, you can't help but notice that people are busy praying. From giving incense at the temple or burning ghost money on the street, leaving a small offering of food for the kitchen god or a whole pig for the Jade Emperor, everybody is very busy doing bye-bye. We've come here today to Taipei's Story House to learn more about the folk rituals which are so popular in Taiwan and such an integral part of the culture. Jai Yi showed me around Taipei Story House. The paper money you can see in the background is known as ghost money. It's handmade using stamps. There are two types of ghost money, the plain red and golden. The plain money is used to give offerings to ancestors so that they have money to buy things in the afterlife, whereas the gold money is used to give offerings to the gods to show respect. The money is offered up by being burnt. Taiwan's folk religion has a multitude of gods. Jai showed me around and introduced me to some of the most popular gods in Taiwan such as Wen Chang Di Jun, who is a god of study. Students go to him to pray for A grades. And this is getting rich. Oh, <laughs> This card is calling Wen Tai Shen. There are also other gods that people pray to for money or for good business. And Zhu Shen Niang Niang, the goddess of children and mothers, who of course mothers go to to pray for protection for their children or maybe to ask for a boy or a girl child. Another very popular god is the god of lovers, Yue Sha Lao Ren. People pray to him using Ba Boy to ask if they'll have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or to see how their destiny will go with their lover. Possibly the most popular folk god is Tu Di Gong. Many people pray to him for their businesses, for their communities and for their family. And the ghost money that you see burning on the streets on the 1st and the 15th of the month in Taiwan is often being sent up as an offering to Tu Di Gong. There are also some rather special gods, such as Tian Pong Yuan Chuai. He is the god of the sex industry because he loved ladies very much. Another common sight in Taiwan is offerings left outside the home. This is especially prevalent on New Year's Eve, when offerings are left for the gods and the ancestors outside the home. The ancestral offerings include everything from food and drink to makeup. The offerings are left for around about 30 minutes, when it's deemed that the gods and the ghosts have had enough and used up or eaten their fill, and then the family can use them. Okay, he's told me that everything here in the Southern Ear Shop is made by local artists and it's all handmade. And so it ranges from the well, very beautiful, such as this plate, which is just amazing, down to more simple things, such as a uh, hacker bag. Pretty cool, eh? And then, of course, there's a the little tiny souvenirs, like uh, the bar design. This is a uh, rice wrapped in bamboo. And this I imagine would go on your phone or on your keys as a good luck charm. Ooh! And this is very familiar. The uh, toy that we were using earlier to find out if you were going to have success in your love life. Hmm, maybe I should get these to help me out at Bao and Temple. Um, the... Bao. No, I forgot. Boy. The boy. <laughs> We do it again. <laughs>